Hello folks, it's uh, back to the electronics bench today for our Model 3 BMS update. Before we get into it though, I have a question. There's something I've been trying to settle in my brain today. Am I right in thinking that it was Ned Quint in Jaws that said, here's to drinking with bow-legged women, chiefy? Answers in the comments section. So, we've a new board for you. In fact, we've been making quite a bit of progress on this thing while you folks have been away partying. So, uh, where to begin? Well, let's begin at the beginning. So, when we last saw you, we were messing around with our Model 3 high voltage controller and we were doing lots of fun reverse engineering work and trying to um, work out our communication uh, between our Batman chip and this horrible NXP microcontroller and Elon had thoughtfully provided us with these little headers here where we could logic analyze the signals now you might notice that Batman is missing. He has been extracted. Because what we did was we did indeed manage to get uh, communications going on here. And we managed to figure out what the communication protocol was between the NXP micro and Batman. Then I went ahead on this board, because this is my kind of spare HV controller. And I traced back those signals to the pins that they go to on the NXP. And I went in there and I cut all of those tracks. So we were then able to connect our kind of microcontroller on here and send signals to Batman. And Batman dutifully converted those into Tesla. I saw SPI and transmitted them for us. And uh, Tom Debris did a bunch of reverse engineering work on the uh, logic analyzer captures that I did on this and wrote us some firmware that's running on this little uh, Teensy board here at the minute. And that actually extracts the voltages uh, from a full model three pack and spits them out over a serial console. And we'll be seeing more of that in a minute. So once we had got this working on this board here, I kind of figured, well, okay, I mean, fun though it would be to need this whole disaster zone of a thing. Um, every time that we wanted to communicate with a Model 3 pack or Model 3 module, what if we could make a, sm a smaller board that just used Batman. So, this was my first attempt at that. Uh, it's, a little, it's a little uh, card, and we have Batman on here. So this is the Batman that we extracted from this board. And of course I screwed up some of the pinouts because I was trying to reverse engineer them. Nearly every pin on the thing is connected to ground in this application, by the way. But I was able to bodge it and much to my amazement, we were able to get communication between our bench module and the uh, Teensy uh, just using this board here. So then, okay, thought, what's the next step? Well, it wouldn't have been much fun if every time we wanted to make one of these cards that we needed, you know, one of these things to extract Batman from. So I did two things. First thing, I revised my circuit and made a version two of my little Batman board 
and I had uh, JLC PCB populate some of the components on there that we needed. So there's a little kind of 5 volt power supply, a little 3.3 volt power supply here, just some decoupler caps and some uh, load resistors for the ISO SPI. So I came along with this then and thought, okay, what if, what if the Batman that is on the high voltage controller is the same as the Batman that is on the slave boards or BMBs, I think they're called in Model 3 parlance. So I went out searching for some of these slave boards and a gentleman in the United States um, is using a Model 3 pack and using a third party BMS for it and had these boards spare and very, very kindly uh, shipped them to me. Now they just arrived today and this little board here had just arrived yesterday. So uh, basically what I did was I went ahead and pulled off the, you know, Batman, I guess, from this board here. So this is a slave board designed to measure um, you know, whatever it is, 25 cells. Then I went ahead and soldered it onto my uh, version 2 board here. Just populated a few components like the little um, Ethernet transformer, connector here, and connected up uh, the Teensy with Tom's uh, software on there. And much to my surprise, it just works. So we're now communicating out here with Tesla ISO SPI using a chip harvested from a slave board. And each slave board has got two chips. So what are we communicating with would be the next question. That... <laughs> for some more dodgy camera work is this little thing here let's see if i can get the zoom look at that zoom yes look at that zoom this is some top spec camera work you're experiencing today so what you're seeing there in my mess of a bench is a just another uh, model s slave board uh, and it's connected to a little 25 cell pack uh, that I just made up out of some scrap 18650 uh, life po 4 cells. They're 3.2 volts, 3.3 volts each, which is fine. We're neither charging nor discharging them. It simply uh, serves as a Model 3 module that I can have on the bench here and not have to haul around a huge brick of a Model 3 module. So that's connect connected uh, to our V2 Batman board with just a normal connector as you find in the Tesla packs. And that comes back in here and uh, we basically have a standard um, the standard SPI connection. So we have a ground, uh, MOSI, MISO, uh, what's it again? MOSI, MISO, uh, clock, and chip select. And there's an enable line on these chips uh, that just needs to be pulled low. So I've got that pulled low and just a 12 volt DC supply going in there. And on our PC here, we just have a little Arduino serial terminal. You can see there's a load of data scrolling up the screen there. So let me just pause the scrolling for you. And so we're going to see here that we're reading our cell voltages from that pack in millivolts. And you'll see there's a few missing here. These are just ones that I've been disconnecting and playing with just to uh, prove that we are, in fact, you know, displaying live cell data and this data here that you see is um, just the raw data that's coming back and then Tom's uh, firmware just extracts these uh, voltages from that.
So, this is where things are with our Model 3 BMS at the minute. Have this little uh, test board. Um, and it, it just works, as I say. And literally just, this is my first attempt at it today, and it just works very well indeed. Um, so, uh, I do have another kind of a, a board design done. Uh, that basically incorporates this into a much more robust kind of a package. So I'm going to get a few of those made uh, by JLC PCB, and hopefully then we will have just a kind of a plug and go package uh, for these Model Three, um, these Model Three BMS boards. All right, so I know that there is going to be some uh comments and so on here on this and on questions and i just want to answer those straight out here in the video yes obviously to use this solution you need to have um a batman chip from one of these slave boards and because we cannot just buy those chips from uh, Mauser or DigiKey or someone like that because they are proprietary to Tesla. So it means that we need to harvest them um, from a board. Now it can either be a, sl a slave board like this one or it can be a um, one of these as I was showing earlier the kind of you know, HV controller board. Now Obviously, I understand that um, that's not a, you know, it, it's not a complete solution, um, but it is a pretty big step along the way uh, to letting us communicate with these things. And getting these is not actually as hard as one may think, because there's quite a lot of people out there that want to use uh, third party BMS systems. And thus, they're going to be pulling off these these cards and pretty much junking them. Likewise, with those HV controllers, um, pretty much the same thing. So, I suspect uh, that these will get a little bit more um, sought after uh, once we get this design fleshed out. Now, so a couple things and then we can finish up. Um, what else is there? Okay, so this board design, um, I can't honestly remember if I've released the design files for it, but if not, I will. Uh, it's a very simple little board, um, and will definitely be. A nice way to get yourself talking uh, to some Model 3 modules and you still need a microcontroller uh, or something to do that this is just a bridge between the whole Tesla version ISO SPI and just normal SPI 3.3 volt uh, logic signals uh, so I will make these cards available in the EV BMW web shop uh, just for people that want to buy them noting of course that you will need to provide your own a batman i will not be providing them to you do have as i said um a more integrated version of this with a sam tree microprocessor and a few other bits on there that'll make a proper bms controller and now that you know obviously this works uh, i can go ahead um, with that and we know now that the pinout that we have for this device is in fact correct so uh, yeah just huh, sorry I'm pretty tired at the minute um, this is where we're at uh, this will also now let me um, just as a final check I will populate the second transformer the second BMB connector here bring this to the full 
uh, battery pack that I have a loan of. We'll plug this in, make sure we can read it, and then uh, that will be uh, that. And I can uh, return that pack to the uh, gentleman that has very kindly gave me a loan of it and enabled uh, all of this development work to be done. So, um, next step then, obviously, after this is we will go back to working on our FPGA system uh, so that we won't need to be using these harvested uh, Batman chips. But just as an interim uh, to let us get moving, uh, this is the direction of travel uh, that I am going to take. So, right folks, that is about it. Um, bit of a rambling video because I'm having a bit of a rambling brain at the minute. Hope you have enjoyed. Uh, we will be back to you. There's more Model 3 stuff going on. We have our drive units and mod chips uh, working away here now. So we'll be getting back to that for you uh, as soon as ever I can. Uh, so. Until then. Uh, don't forget to check the links in the description for things like Patreon, PayPal, GitHub. Open inver Inverter, JLC PCB, where we get our PCBs made. Um, and anything else that I can think to put in there. Um, so I guess the only thing to say to you is then uh, don't forget to dislike, hoard and unsubscribe. And um, don't forget to... Um, do that and yes then we will see you in the next video <sighs> and until then happy uh, Batman transplanting you know trans trans transplanting the Batman